All right, I have to tell a fellow, Mr. Telefero TV. We're going to get right into it. Meek Mill did a recent interview with Spotify, which is very weird in itself. I'll get to that in a second. But he talked about his new project that's entitled Wins and Losses. This is what he said. When I lost my freedom and caught my case, it was kind of like a win, too. The judge put me through a lot, sent me back and forth to jail, but it taught me a lot. It started out as a loss, but it turned into a win. You can't make me feel like I'm losing. That's why. Through all this shit, I always stay chin up. Okay, so here's my quick question. If you're not going to talk about losses, why entitle the project wins and losses if it's really about your wins? Here's what I think, because I think Mick, Meek is one of the top 10 spitters in the game. I really do. I think he's currently top six, top seven for me. Um, Here's what I, I don't understand is, man, Meek needs a publicist. Yeah, I, I don't know if he has one, but if he does, I don't think they're doing a good job. Meek needs a publicist. A lot of things revolving around Meek Mill, I feel could have been handled better, right? Because he tried to turn the Drake situation into he's the one getting bullied. When in all actuality, let's never forget the fact that Meek Mill went on Twitter first. Let me say that one more time. Let's never forget the fact that Meek Mill went on Twitter first and started talking about how Drake wasn't really the one behind the pen. Let's not act like Charged Up and the Grammy nominated back to back came out of the sky and Drake just wanted to diss this guy for no reason. All right. And a, a couple other things that have happened over the last few years that I feel like me can now turn into positives. You don't have to always act like the guy who um, is bulletproof or this and that. Sometimes our best moments the, when we learn the most come from L's. And if you entitle a project wins and losses, I thought you would make this opportunity in, into something that capitalizes on the L's and how you turn them into wins. You're just saying that your wins are not losses. That's pretty much what you're going to make it a project about. And I just think Meek, who to me, again, I think he's one of the top six, top seven dopest artists in the game right now with the pen. I just think he missed his opportunities too many times. Too many times I've seen Meek have that chance to get over the hump, show the maturity. I ain't just I just ain't seeing the growth. Like I'm not seeing a lot of growth in Meek's music. I'm not gonna lie to you. And I still like what Meek spit. I still think he's one of the few people who can actually sell records. But let's be clear. All right. For example, Meek has a new record, right? And it, it's it's sampled that girl. You know I can buy. Y'all ain't no telephone could do that. You, it samples that record, right? It's what you needed. It has Ty Dolla Sign and, of course, Chris Brown, his go-to for a feature. We're going to learn a lot about Meek Mill with through this record. We're going to learn a lot about his team and everything around him right now. What are you talking about, Telefero? I'll break it down. The only difference between All Eyes on You and Whatever You Need is he switched Nicki Minaj out with Ty Dolla Sign. I got a lot of love and respect for Ty Dolla Sign. I met him in the mall one time, but let's be clear. Ty Dolla Sign ain't got the pull Nicki Minaj got. All right? So you switch out a, a huge mega superstar for Ty Dolla Sign, who I believe is a star. And that means Meek's going to have to work this record a little bit more. Remember that All Eyes on You came right after Nicki and Meek had made the announcement about their relationship. They were everywhere on social media. They was all over the place. And it was right. It was Meek's first project from coming home. This one, Meek's gonna have to work this record. It's a hit, guys. It's a hit. He has a hit in the chamber. Chris Brown on the, in the hook. It, it's a hit. But Meek's gonna have to work this record. It could easily go away, and, and we could be looking at it three, four months down the line. Like, damn, what happened to this record? It was so good. So, I'm gonna learn a lot about Meek in the next couple weeks, couple months. That project is probably gonna come before him and Yo Gotti go on his all eyes, all against all eyes tour. Um, I'm pretty sure it's coming in the next few weeks. He's probably going to drop it out of the sky like everybody else. But again, and Meek, you got to do some interviews, my brother. Uh, the tax stone one was really good. I do respect that one. But tax kind of slid away from asking you questions. To be honest with you, I respect the tax in his podcast. He kind of let Meek just ha um, go in the rave. It was a dope thing to do. He kind of just let Meek go at it, though. Real talk. He just kind of let Meek go at it. I would like him to do a more formal interview in a more formal setting and really talk about some things and answer some tough questions because I believe that's the disconnect with a lot of your fans or people who listen to your music. They feel as if though you're not acknowledging your L's, but you're trying to dodge them as if they didn't happen. And a lot of Meek Mill's wounds in the game so far 
are self-inflicted. Dope artists, but could use a publicist. And and some of the wounds that he had are on Meek Mill. They are not on anybody else. Some of the things he's been a part of have been because of Meek did something wrong. Not anybody else. Alfred Telefetto, Mr. Telefetto TV. Thank you for the time, love support. I don't take it for granted. Salute. I'm out. If you're looking to book me for an interview video or by phone, if you're looking to have your music or your skill featured on my daily podcast, if you're looking to book me for a speaking engagement to help motivate some kids, if you're looking to have me rock some of your clothing to help promote your brand, make sure you hit me up at booking at Again, that's booking at